Hi friends, thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Spiritual Scientist. I'm Victor Hamza. Thanks for checking me out. I'm excited to talk about some new Mandela effects. Um, this will blow your mind as all my other ones hopefully are blowing your mind, but don't be scared. I think it's all pretty cool actually. Uh, you gotta go with the flow. Don't stress and um, I think you'll like these ones. Let's get into it. By the way, um, a friend of mine said, you know, you were doing some things about fruit. I saw you, you never talked about like these strawberries that are white and look like and taste like pineapples. You know, that one's actually an old one for me a couple of years ago, but uh, I didn't think to talk about it because it was an old one. I only talk about the cutting edge new ones. Um, and I was waiting for a couple of things to populate. I think maybe this will point people in an interesting direction. So if you could see, I haven't decided on the title yet, but I think you know where I'm going to go with this, with the title. Game of Thrones Mandela Effect. Now we have the finale showing up. So would you know we have finale Mandela Effects going on with Game of Thrones? Think I'm crazy? It's okay. Some people do. People who are geniuses, other people think they're usually crazy. So, uh, to get right into it, um, Ufbert Sword. So, what's an Ufbert Sword? Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. I doubt you heard of a, heard of it 10 years ago. Um, it's spelled U-L-F-B-E-R-H-T, sword. So, it's a Viking sword that predates... Um, dated to 9th and 11th centuries, and these blades are inscribed. Okay, these are Valerian steel swords, basically. And they joked on the internet. They're like, oh, they're like Valerian steel. So these swords predated modern technology by 400 years. And these swords are like, I'll show it to you. They're, they're, they're like perfect. The, the carbon content, they can't figure out how they got the carbon content uh, these are, these are, uh, I don't want to show you a museum replica, but these are pretty sick swords. Their carbon content is so high, they figured out that they'd have to be at 3,000 degrees just to make them this way. And they don't know how they could have got it that hot to make these swords, um, at that time. So, but now everybody's heard about these swords, um, you know five years ago I never heard about it and um, these are these are new I remember hearing about these uber towards swords about four months ago five months ago um, maybe less but I just thought to bring it out now in the theme of the Game of Thrones so this is a Game of Thrones one and these are Game of Thrones coming alive unlocking the mysteries of the Viking blades. So that's the that's the sword, okay? So I'll read from one page just to give you... See, they're all powerful, and I can't say that uh, Ulfbert swords and discover how their makers might have been able to build a blade so strong that still baffles experts. People, scientists, just like, how'd they do that? So they would take a sword, basically, they had these swords that were... And they're thinking, well, maybe it's like a... Dam I read an article. It said maybe it's like a, a Damascus sword. And those were around that time. Maybe the Vikings went all the way to Damascus and got the technology and brought it back. Well, guess what? It's it's not a Damascus blade. It's it's a Uber blade. They're made completely different. I don't know why the scientific article was citing Damascus blades. Like, they're not the same thing. They're not made in the same way. They don't have the same carbon content. Okay. Um, you might be a little, if you think everyone was using swords, you might be a little, a little off base. This is a stupid article. I'm just glancing through, but, um, these were more flexible, stronger and in a, in a, someone would attack a Viking with a sword and try to, you know, hit them. And basically these, these Valerian steel swords would slice right through and kill them and it would slice right through a, a regular blade. Like they were as strong as steel is now. And they don't know, you know, 
how they got him. Um, so, you know, borrowing, it says, oh, they may have borrowed some techniques by Eric Smith to, to, from Damascus Steel. No, that's not, that's not how it went down. So that's the first, uh, you know, Mandela effect I was going to talk about today. Um, very interesting. So we're going to stay on that Game of Thrones um, theme with these Ubert swords. Uh, so now we have Valerian steel. There's the Ubert st stamp on the blade. So just thought I'd show you that. Pretty cool. Um, and okay, so you're like, oh gosh, the coolest thing about Game of Thrones was what? The swords of Valerian steel. That was pretty cool. What about the dragon? Do we have do we have dragons? Uh here we go. Are you ready? Okay. Uh I know all about swords. I know a lot about things, okay? Um I'm alive. I'm in my world. So here we go. Red eyed red eyed crocodile skinks. Okay. Am I an expert on lizards? Kinda. Um, I brought different lizards to schools and showed schools about, you know, different types of lizards. I did that once for fun. I have some. Um, I go to reptile expos. I do a lot of stuff. Okay. Here's a new one that's in the pet trade now for a while that I've never heard about till just today. And red-eyed red -eyed crocodile skinks. So I've heard of slinks, not too many skinks. Red, and this is now in the pet trade. So and I'm like looking at this lizard thinking the eyes look like, look like it was going to shoot fire or something. Like, is that the fire from Game of Thrones? Is that what they're talking about? I mean, here's another picture. Okay. If you're like me, you never heard about these till just today. This was today. And that's why I thought I'd base this on. And and then I gotta show you this picture of one that um they they have on the web. <laughs> and it's like you're like, no, no way, because not all of them have that red eye. Um, and it's like it's like making the round. Like, look at this. Does that not look like a little dragon? They're nine to ten inches. They live ten years, and you can't hold them too much. They're not very playful. But um, does that not look like a lizard from Game of Thrones? I mean, look at this. This okay. I've been to the expo. I've been there. I've been to huge expos where they have like where you walk around for like four hours and your feet get hurt uh, because you've been walk walk. Because you walked around so much and you're like so tired because, you know, um, I have a ball python as a pet um, and I know all about lizards a lot about. I would say I know way more than the average person about lizards and if you show me some types of lizards, I mean, I know modern lizards, I know the different lizards. Um, I have a couple books on herbology and uh, know all about these Here's somebody put one with wings on it just to show show you. Like, does that not look like a dragon? Now, some of you are going to be like, I mean, really? Is this, am I making this up or it's weird, right? So now we have, now we have the dragon from Game of Thrones as well as the swords from Game of Thrones. So... That goes, uh, and I'll show you the, <laughs> looks just like, looks like a little dragon. The dragon's the devil, so I'm not into, uh, not into uh, getting one of these anymore. Um, but it looks like a little dragon. It's, it's crazy. So now we have Valerian Steel and we have these dragons, uh, blizzards, right, that are new. These are... Mandela effects that I'm telling you. Um, and then I, and I'm going to go into the third thing, but I had, um, 
you know, someone come on the channel and say, those aren't Mandela effects. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know about balls. You, you don't know about fruits. You know, you don't know. You know, if you're not into the Mandela effect and you want to debunk it, that's cool. And you could say, oh, I've always known it. But if you don't understand what the Mandela effect is, um, you know, I like I said before in a video, I have different categories for um, these Mandela effects. And these would be under this category of new animals. And there's this other website that does Once Upon a Timeline that I try to watch her, her videos go for like two hours. I try to watch the whole thing, but I only talk about my original discoveries. I don't try to talk too much. And if I do have someone else's discovery, I'll mention it, but here's another picture. But uh, that's kind of cool. I mean, um, her show brings up a lot of newer stuff that like blows me away and I'm like I can't believe that that's a new one um I'm gonna type in another one into my browser here so uh there's there's a I I think I covered this one before in a different video so I don't mean to re repeat myself but there's more strange magnetic anomalies at Puma Punku in Bolivia. So um, maybe you guys have heard about this before. I think I might have did a video about this before, but I just thought it's like it kind of symbolizes to me almost like like, you know, one of those castles like Winterfell or something. And uh, it definitely is weird. Um, and there's a lot of new. I was I was checking out castles uh, yesterday. There's a ton of new castles. I could make up a whole hour about new castles and um, that I never heard of before. That there's these castles. Oh yeah, these castles. So here's here's another um, picture of it, um, which is really weird ge geometric shapes within it. This obviously looks like you know an H, um, which is kind of weird and here's another like carved in carved in um you know sight about it here's another you know go away so there's some new ruins that they've uh kind of you know discovered in bolivia not that you know long ago but if you think about it doesn't that look like doesn't it look like where the dragon attacked uh the town a little bit with the wall I mean, it's just like you're looking and you're going, oh, that's weird. Um, this is the site where the Incas believed the world began. Here's another. Just thought I'd, I had to talk about it. And Game of Thrones finale, I guess, is, uh, is um, Sunday. So in this would be a timely episode to watch and it's very um mind-blowing when you see some of these uh see some of these stonework and everything and how they did that and how they how they moved like a 33 ton you know rock and put in a place and these are all fitted together without mortar and um you know it's crazy um uh, crazy stuff so uh, I just had to talk about that real briefly. I'm going to do this quick. Um, so I wanted to talk about these Mandela effect in real life Game of Thrones uh, things that just transpired. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm working on some new theories and I have some neat ones. But this I'm not going to get into that in this one. I'm just talking about some Mandela effects um, about Man you know Game of Thrones coming to life. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, share. Love you guys. Peace.